Okay, here you can see we are Soy 3 slash one or Soy Sam Top Nung. And this is better known as the Soy Arab area. An area with tons of Middle Eastern restaurants and shops and, and the old days hookah or shisha. And this place is like a bomb went off. Um, and you can see how clearly this was supported by people coming in on tourist visas or possibly medical visas since we're near Bumengrad. But it's really kind of heartbreaking walking down the street. Right on the right here was a local Thai place closed up that was always quite busy. And you can see here, just everything is shut down, closed. Um, one restaurant closed here. I mean, just kind of trash piled up. It looks like a renovation was started and stopped. here getting into the thick of the restaurants closed another one closed closed unfortunately these guys are open here so come by the Yemeni restaurant support them um, Grand Five you can't tell this is a fairly big little shopping mall and this place has been closed uh, for many months this had many many tiny shops a lot of them Middle Eastern based Salon Adam. This restaurant is still open and you can still come down here and get great chicken shawarma. Now the depressing thing, this is El Hussein restaurant and this is a big restaurant and there's sometimes when I'm eating here I'm, I might be the only person or just one other person so I don't know how they're keeping alive but they are thankfully best shawarma here in Bangkok oh. um, here these used to be hookah shops or sh shisha they were closed down by the police and it looks like yep these places have been closed down or not closed down but bankrupted maybe unfortunately going further down again just quiet quiet all shut down barely any people here one other shop that seems to be open so this restaurant seems to be open so come by visit them Grand Lucy Hotel which shut Al Abir does not look like it's doing too well this place seems to be closed down here as well And again, daytime, nighttime, this was just a really well trafficked area. And now there are very few signs of life. So unfortunately, so many people's livelihoods, businesses, wiped out due to COVID and then the resulting lack of no tourists, no medical tourists. Guys seem to be open. Happy Yemen restaurant. Try them out. Shop for rent. Room for rent. Another room. Room for rent. These guys also seem to be open. Iraqi restaurant. So give them a try. This is open for appointment only. Appears. Turning the bend here, which gets you to Soy 3. And unfortunately, it looks like everything is closed on this part of the, the Soy. So, looking very quiet. Coming out on Soy 3, Soy Sam.
This place looks to be open. Oh, this is Bamboo, so a well-known restaurant. They're open. El Cajima Lebanese. And for those of you who know this area, now you're looking at the Bloomberg buildings down there. Uh, arguably Bangkok, where Thailand's number one hospital, and that drew in a lot of people of Middle Eastern descent. We come here for medical care. Now walking down Soy 3 to Sukhumvit, we got a 7-Eleven here. Looks to be closed off. And salon, you can get your hair cut there. I have 200 baht and very good. Renovation, hopefully. Looks like this store has been cleaned out. I do have to add this is Sunday at 1 p.m. So possible some of these businesses are just uh, closed for Sunday. But unfortunately, most are have simply gone out of business. Took driver looking for business and definitely the motorcycle drivers the tuk-tuk drivers there's a little sense of desperation here uh, in general especially the motorcycle motorbike taxi drivers are quite lackadaisical but now I'm often beckoned or asked if I need a ride by these motorcycle taxi drivers which really never happened in the past Took to drivers, of course, yes. But. Akbar Restaurant, another well-known name. They're open, thankfully. And this is across the street is Soy Nana. Yeah. And then we're turning back into Soy 3 top uh, slash one. Swadikura. And again, quiet, quiet. business for sale that's pretty sad again i walked by i've been here a couple times over the seven years i've been here building for sale and then we are back here i am waiting on my uh, shawarma as they prepare so back to al hussein and again this place used to be crowded there'd be tons of people here and Unfortunately, they're, they're hanging on, they're holding on, but uh, not sure how they're doing it. And the number one chicken shawarma, in my opinion, right here. So come by here and check it out. 